President's visit causing some mixed emotions in Lackawanna County. Many lined outside of his childhood home in the Green Ridge section of the city. Some expressing joy, others protesting the president. Fox 56's Jay Sarwar continues our team coverage. Tuesday, President Biden's motorcade made its way into downtown Scranton just one week before the primary. Many who do not support the president's handling of the Israel-Hamas war and the aftermath with Palestine waiting outside his childhood home. Chants of Biden, Biden, you can't hide. We charge you with genocide and Palestinian flags flew. This is about America going down because our economy, after we're going to become persona non grata in the whole world, will pay for it. And he is committing it. Kasha Lajuska is part of a group of protesters who demand President Biden calls for a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip. She believes America should not be supporting what's going on. We are sponsoring uh, extermination of, of humans. We are, should be a democratic country. Where is our democracy? Where is our humanity? However, not all lining the street oppose the president. Many students from nearby Marywood University gathered to catch a glimpse at the president. So having something like this is, you know, very thrilling. As you can see, there's a lot of people here, either supporters or protesters. But, you know, I think it's very interesting just to see, you know, we have a president that lives right here in Scranton, so it's very cool. Ray Sabatini is a student at Marywood who's lived in northeastern Pennsylvania his whole life. Although he was excited to take pictures of the motorcade arriving, Sabatini sees the importance of protesters and freedom of speech. I think it's also very important that we have protesters because it shows that they have a voice as well, and everybody deserves to have a voice and say what's on their mind. Following his campaign stops today, President Biden will be staying at the Radisson Lackawanna Station Hotel. In Scranton, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first to 10. The president will head to both Pittsburgh and Philadelphia before the end of the week for more campaign stops.